a Chevy 400 part 4 piston and rod assembly there's my piston and rod here this is how I figure out which way is forward the valve reliefs always go towards the lifter valley which is down here not the side of the block they always face downward so then you know I put an arrow here and this is number one piston so that's the front of the engine now your connecting rod also has F that's an F believe it or not uh, with a marker that's a measurement of the pinhole and I put a bearing in there to show you which way this rod is going to go these are eagle rods so they're not numbered so you have a chamfer side of the bearing here and this side is flush see that that side's flush that side's got a space that obviously goes forward because this one goes right here on the rod journal so you need the extra space here because it rides the outside of the crank right here so this is going to go on like this like that you got front front you can see the F on there you got the extra clearance on the bearing which rides on the outside of the crank All right, I'm gonna pause for a minute there's a couple different ways this is not a full floating wrist pin it's press fit two reasons one this piston does not have the groove in it for a lock and he didn't want full flowing so I got my rod oven here right up to temp I still got the timer going I'm going to take this bearing out put the rod in here for four minutes. You also want to make sure this slides nice and easy in here. Now since these are used pistons I had to hone out this end just a little bit on both sides for the pin to go through. Okay. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. You don't need this contraption here. This stops, sets a pin stop because it's going to be hot so I just shove this pin in and it automatically stops at the right distance. You don't have to have it. You don't even have to have an oven. You can use, I know people have used a torch end. I would imagine maybe some map gas would work. I don't know. So this is the front side of the rod. I don't know if you can see the F. Get my finger there because it's hot. And this this front side. So what I'm going to do is when this timer goes off, I'm going to pull this rod out, slip it in here, and shove this pin straight straight in. And it'll stop right here, right where it's supposed to be. At the right distance. Right in the center of the rod. Double gloving. This is not really hot. But I checked the pin size and wrote it on the end of the rod and then I checked the pin here since they're used make sure the size of that and the size of that and the size of the pin hole in the piston everything was right with the proper clearance before I did this all of them they're all got numbers on them because I checked them all you know they're pretty pretty close
So another minute, minute and a half. We'll press that one on. Sometimes it gets stuck, and then then you're screwed, or you got minutes to get it up over to the press and press it back off before it gets cools down and gets hard and then you're there's a chance you won't be able to save it. Piston may crack. So we're just waiting on this timer. I'm gonna heat that end up. Only three, four minutes. And that'll be it. Check the piston, pin size on the piston and in the connecting rod. I just use a telescoping gauge and a uh, dial in caliper. You just measure everything. Alright, we're almost at the one minute mark. I always go one minute extra on the timer, not on the rod, on the timer. So by the time I press it on, I can pop the next rod in and then turn the timer back to five minutes. So it's really only four minutes. Hopefully you can see it when it comes out. And if I, let me test, you're not going to be able to, maybe I'll use this hand. You'll be able to see that. Yeah, hopefully. All right, we're going to go for it. Hopefully this works. Forward, forward. Alright, here we go. Alright, kind of a technical difficulty, but it worked. Alright. I'm going to shut that off, because I'm only doing one to show you on the video, and then I'm going to do the other seven. So, that's in there in the middle pins right where it should be because of the stop was set that's going to cool down and uh, I'll do the other seven that was uh, part four piston and rod assembly these were not full floating rods and so they had no clip groove in the piston so you can't put a spiral lock or a c-clip in there so I didn't hone the ends of the rods out these are just press type